What's going on everybody? My name is Dakota, also known as Tennessee Ray. Hey, today we're checking out this P365X, but it's not really a P365X. You'll see later. Let's get started. Sixth round, we're at Kevin Young to see if we're going to play. All right, what's going on? Hey, let's talk about what we got here on the table. This is a P365X before there was an actual P365X. All right, I know how some of you guys on the internet are. Let's go ahead and make sure everything's cleared out. I got nothing in the magazine well, nothing in the chamber. We are clear, okay? And we will also show you, here's my 12 round magazine. I have nothing in the 12 round magazine. So what this is, this is a P365 slide on a XL grip, P365 XL grip. And as some of you may know, Six Hour actually came out with the P365X recently, uh, right after I had this little project completed. So what this is, this is a 3.1 inch barrel. It is a 5.8 inch overall slide length, but you've got an increased height because of that 12 round capacity with the XL grip. So let's show you how this works. We already cleared it out. As you can see, there is a slight funnel on the magwell. Takes a flush fit 12 round magazine, okay? So the reason behind this, the reason behind me wanting to do this is originally I had a setup similar to this. And this is my wife's P365. As you can see, nothing in the magwell, nothing in the chamber, right? And here's another 12 round magazine, nothing in the magazine, with a pinky extension on it. So this comes factory from SIG with that 12 round pinky extension on it. And the reason I don't like that is because you're relying, when you do a mag change, you're losing that grip, you're relying on that magazine as part of your grip, okay? So, you do a mag change, now all of a sudden you're out that pinky. So, much better to have a full grip on the frame of the weapon, right? I don't have to, when I do a mag change, I don't have to lose my grip, okay? And it also adds that little flare on the bottom, which aids in your magazine changes if you need to do so, which obviously you need to carry a spare mag with you okay so let's talk about what's going on here obviously this is not a factory six hour slot anymore it was at one time but i sent it off to my buddy at corded arms in severeville severeville tennessee and he did these uh, window cuts on the side 
he put a big window cut on the top for me and he put another window cut on the other side to make it match he also did the optic cut there for the Holson 507k series which is the same footprint as the shield rmsc one thing that's awesome about this Holson, i don't know if you can see it or not if you can't then i'll put some b-roll in of the reticle but it has a circle dot reticle some very very similar to an eotech okay and that allows you to pick up the reticle a little faster maybe if you're uh point shooting you can you can pick up the edge of the reticle and kind of see where you're going anyways that's uh that's a preference for me they also have the 407k and it is just a 6 moa dot now the Cerakote work on this was done by my buddy Jay at Liberty Bell Firearms. He, I told him I wanted to do an OD green Cerakote. He was on board with it. It turned out phenomenal. Then we sent the frame back to Corded Arms and he did this laser engraving. If you look really closely here at the back strap, you can see this is actually the factory engraving. This is the factory grip texture this laser engraving just adds just a hair of texture it really doesn't add much of anything except for looks so you can see here it uh because this was a gray frame underneath the od green it actually made it look almost an fde tan color uh, i really like the way that it turned out this setup this is my edc setup here i'm carrying this in a JX Tactical plus one holster, right? which allows me to carry a spare mag in the appendix position. So now I've got 12 rounds in the magazine, in the weapon, a round in the chamber, so 13 plus 12 more. That's 25 total in, a, in this small package. Okay. This has been absolutely reliable for me. It's comfortable to carry. I've had no issues with this weapon. Uh, some people kind of complain about uh, when you start doing the window cuts, you, you get more dirt and lint. Uh, you're losing that weight. It, it makes the balance of the slide go off. Um, these, these weapons are fine tuned to, to only work whenever they have the exact weight balance. That, that's bull crap, okay? Um, this thing has had absolutely no issues. I've run reloads through it. I've run factory ammo through it. I've run hollow points through it. Uh, I've run plus P through it. I've had no issues with this at all, either before or after the work to make it the P365X. All right. If you got any questions, leave them down below in the comment section and I'll make sure to answer them. Make sure you like, subscribe and share this video. Appreciate it. Make yourself better today. Is the reload ready? Yeah. Dakota stays ready. He's like, I got it. The definition of ready.